All right, the Hawks take on the Heat game five, and that's going to be a 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off on Tuesday, April 26, 2022. Now, Miami's up three games to one in the series, and they're also the seven-point favorite with a total at 217.5. And, and following Sunday's sports wagering action, we're 6-1 in our last seven board member tier package bets on BrockPage.com. If you want to access today's board member tier package bet, the link for that play is in the description section below. And if you want to see which one of these free YouTube picks on my channel that I'm actually betting on personally, there's only one way to do that, and that's to sign up for a membership on my website at brockpage.com. I have packages on that site beginning at just $1.99. Now, guys, the Heat's been incredibly tough to beat at home this season. As a matter of fact, these guys are a perfect 10-0 against divisional opponents at home this year. Miami also successfully covered the point spread in 80% of those very ball games I just mentioned. And when it comes to this particular series, Jimmy Butler's averaging 30 and a half points per contest, along with seven rebounds, five assists. Now, Buckets has also been Buckets from beyond the arc. Jimmy's making 44% of his three-pointers this year. And speaking of three-pointers, P.J. Tucker is making 62% of his shots from downtown himself in the series. 11 points a night for P.J. And this proficient three-point shooting out of Miami really shouldn't surprise anyone. These guys are currently leading the NBA in offensive three-point percentage. Now, they're also taking on a Hawks team who's had uh, difficulties defending the three ball this year themselves. As a matter of fact, these guys are amongst the worst in the entire NBA uh, in defensive three-point percentage. Now, offensively, on the other end of the court, the uh, Hawks have also struggled with the basketball in their hands in this very series. They're averaging only 98 points a game uh, in the postseason right now. When it comes to the injury report, Lou Williams is questionable for the Hawks. Meanwhile, for Miami... Kyle Lowry is questionable for them. Now, total-wise, seven out of these teams' last 10 head-to-head -head meetings fell under the posted number. Atlanta's also gone 60% to the under in their divisional road games. Meanwhile, Miami's gone 60% to the under against the Southeast Division themselves. I'm going to lean toward Miami, minus seven, in the under, 217.5. Next ball game, it is going to be Timberwolves Grizzlies game five. That's going to be a 7.30 Eastern start time. Series is all knotted up at two games apiece. Now Memphis is minus six and a half at home, totals 233. Now the Grizzlies have won a staggering 75% of their home games against Western Conference opponents. They're also leading the league in home scoring and home offensive rebounding. And speaking of scoring, Desmond Bain, he's drilling 49% of his three-pointers in this very series, along with 23 points a game. Meanwhile, John Morant scoring 20.5 points per contest in the postseason himself, along with double-digit assists. They're taking on a Minnesota team who's actually played worse defense on the road than any other team in basketball this season. These guys allow nearly 119 points a game when they travel, and they've also had little success guarding the field goal. Now, when it comes to head-to-head -head meetings between these two squads, Minnesota's allowing nearly 118 points a night to Memphis. When it comes to the total, Minnesota's gone 31-12 and 12 to the over this season away from their home court. Of course, that's good for over 72% in that particular category. Meanwhile, Memphis saw four out of their last five at the Forum get over the posted total themselves. I'm going to lean toward Memphis, minus six and a half in the over, 233. Next and final matchup for the show, it is going to be Pelicans taking on the Suns, game five. And that's going to be a 10 o'clock Eastern start time. Series is tied up at two games apiece. Phoenix is minus six and a half at home, totals 215. Now the Suns looked all out of sorts in game four. They allowed 118 points, and they actually lost by 15 in the process. The Suns have also had difficulties covering the number here lately. They failed to cover in six out of their last 10 ball games, 
And they've also allowed a considerable amount of points in those very contests I just mentioned. They're taking on a Pels team who's played some really tough basketball down the home stretch here, really inspired basketball as well. Uh, New Orleans is also one of the best rebounding teams in this tournament right now. They're currently in the top 10 in offensive boards, top three in defensive rebounding as well. When it comes to the scoring in this one, Brandon Ingram's dropping nearly 30 points a game in this series, and he's connecting on 50% of his three-pointers. And speaking of shooting the three ball, C.J. McCollum's knocking down 40% of his shots from beyond the arc in his series. Uh, CJ is also scoring 24 points a night in the postseason as well. When it comes to the total in this one, New Orleans has gone 60% to the over in their last 10 outings. They're also 7-3 to the over in their last 10 ball games against Phoenix. So if you're into historical trends, plenty of overs to go around. Meanwhile, the Suns are actually allowing 118 points a game in their last three against the Pelicans themselves. I'm going to lean toward New Orleans plus six and a half, keeping this one close. And the over 215. And with that, guys, now it's time for our quick pick recap. Power to you by my website at brockpage.com, where we are currently six and one in our last seven board member tier package bets following Sunday sports wagering action. I like Miami minus seven under 217 and a half. Memphis minus six and a half over 233. And with my next and final free pick for the video, I'm going to lean toward the New Orleans Pelicans plus six and a half in the over 215. And with that, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on brockpage.com. Now, if you guys do end up getting a membership here today on my website, just keep in mind, you're going to get billed the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. So if you do end up getting a membership here today on brockpage.com, you're going to get access to that membership every single day all the way through the end of April. Uh, April. I do um, tell folks in every single video, the earlier in the month you sign up, the better. And guys, if you want to get access to every single bet that I give out on that website, you're going to want to sign up for my board member tier package. Uh, the board member package is an all-inclusive membership. Now, guys, you may be wondering what the difference is between what I do here on YouTube and what I do on my webpage. Well, what I do here on YouTube is I'll handicap the entire slate of games in any given sport, side, and total. And what I do on BrockPage.com is I actually share with you which one of these free YouTube picks on my channel that I'm actually betting on personally. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, guys, happy Monday or Tuesday to you, depending on when you're watching this. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at brockpage.com.